We here on planet Earth, we just kind of roll through the atmosphere. And, and for a more scientific explanation, you'd have to go to Mike Pence, the vice president who announced the big um, Space Force initiative. He knows stuff. Or President Trump, who would say something probably like, uh, well, planet Earth is out there with many other planets, uh, Pluto and Uranus. And they are all just kind of floating out there, and we're floating out. There are many. Uh, there's space junk. Have you ever heard of space yes, junk? Yes, Mr. President, and I have. It, it floats out there, and and it's all out there, and it's uh, flying around. Uh, so asteroids, you know, sometimes they they come close to the Earth. Mm-hmm. Um, I've a, seen the movies. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes they crash into Earth. If you watch the uh, Bruce Willis movies, a 328 feet wide asteroid named 2019 OK is the largest to get. So close to Earth this year, it came within 45,000 miles of the planet, soaring, this asteroid soaring past the Earth so close at a speed of nearly 55,000 miles per hour. Now, we don't know exactly where this asteroid is flying. Uh, We do know it's going very fast, and we do know that we're... Uh Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Did you see anything out that window? A streak. What in the world? Was it like a, a orange or what would you say? It was kind of like a red. Wow. Astronomers only started watching the asteroid a few days ago. Hey, way to go, guys. Um, uh, the Brazilians uh, have tracked down the space rock and uh, with a telescope network detected it shortly after just hours before it, it, it came whizzing by planet Earth. Funny how they always tell us after it's gone. That's scary. <laughs> they call this, can I scare you a little more? Yeah. Do you know what they call this asteroid? It's not just 2019 okay. They actually call it a city killer. Oh, how, 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 um, how, how, how calming. Isn't it? It's classified as a city killer asteroid, which can hit Earth with the force of multiple nuclear bombs and could destroy entire cities. NASA and other agencies have technology to track these objects, but there isn't enough funding to observe every single one. So they managed to track less than one third of major asteroids. Well, we're on the lookout for this asteroid that is uh, at 55,000 miles an hour, which is that's very fast. I mean, the last. Is the- it very fast? No, really. The last. Last person to travel that fast was Mel Gibson down the PCH, and so, so you you have to know that this is. Uh, oh, ooh, there it is! Whoa. There it is! Hmm. Did you see your like my hair blue? Ooh, your hair is blue now. It is. <laughs> there's some there's some chemicals coming.